sometimes we have to take a step back to realize um, the impact that the store has. It's bigger than me, it's bigger than us, it's bigger than our staff. People just like in the snowfall, you don't realize that, yeah, it's only 25 minutes to Keene, but a lot of the town is elderly. So yeah. um, that's very scary for them. It's scary for me. I hate driving in the snow. So to go to Keene when, you know, there's feet of snow, it's life or death. Um, so to have that impact of it where people are coming to us for water and essential goods and um, things to get through the storm, um, knowing they can rely on us was huge, much bigger than I ever imagined. We have not only just the post office, but we do the deli and then we have a little grocery store, so it's a lot of different things all together. Where the post office is, that was the original store. Um, so that's where the women would come on their horses and actually meet and have tea. Very long time ago. Yeah. Um, she also handles all the accounting in the post office. Um, she does all the stamp orders and all the inventory. It's another business within a business. In our first year, where the post office is now, the major yeah. support beam in the basement was about to collapse. So we had to close the store and I was I was in desperate need of uh, financial aid because it would have depleted the store and the door would have been closed. Um, I've been in touch with Charlene Anderson for the last two years. Um, she was monitoring um, the store, very interested in the story. She knew that I just needed a little bit of help The Community Loan Fund came in to help me, along with the USDA, um, try and find ways to get some of these projects done to kind of seal the building, stop um, you know the money from literally going out the window. They offered us um, funding to be able to do all the upgrades that we needed that we may not have been able to do for at least 10 years. The, the deli is where we really started putting our focus when I had first opened the store because I was thinking that that was the most, that there, I was like, there's nowhere to eat around here. There needs to be food. So we did that, but then as we started growing and with time and learning is that it wasn't just the food. I mean, yes, the deli's great. It brings a lot of people in. It's how they find us. But there are a lot of people in town, again, that they don't want to make that hour round trip to the grocery store, so they come here. Um, and if we don't have something, they tell us what they're looking for, and it helps me grow our inventory. To have originally planned to just, you know, come in and own a store, it has been far beyond a store. We love it, and we've, like I said, have so many relationships that I couldn't imagine my life without um, and a lot of support from our customers.